Hey everybody, welcome back to the Matt Report. In today's episode, we're doing a plugin review for a new contact form plugin in the WordPress space. It's called Captain Form. So the big question of the day is, do we need another contact form plugin in the WordPress space? We're gonna try to answer that question today, but we're also gonna take a look at Captain Form. This is follow. This is a follow-up from a more thorough written out review article on mattreport.com. That link will be in the description below, so please take a look at that if you want the full details. So in this video, we're gonna kinda go through the plugin, see how it is to use, give you some general feedback, and find out if this is the right plugin for you. So before we dive in to using the, the plugin and what that whole experience was like, let's just take a look sort of at their website. I think that they're doing a phenomenal job at sort of branding, uh, very professional, very clean. Uh, not a lot of stuff going on. This is a one page sort of design, some great details. I think they got some great branding, some social proof with some, uh, some company logos that they use for uh, add-ons. So you know that, hey, if I, if I use PayPal, if I integrate with Stripe or I might be using Dropbox, I can kind of integrate my form uh, with this plugin. Uh, they got clear sort of pricing right here, more on that later. Uh, and as you scroll down through the site, um, they've got some testimonials of people that use it. And of course, their emphasis is support, which uh, we'll also talk about quickly in this review, but so, sort of more thoroughly in the written review. Uh, and, and you know, throughout this, there's always somebody here that I can chat with. I can always open up a uh, quick live chat with them if I have any questions and a quick contact form. So overall, I think the presentation of their site, the company, you should feel uh, very confident in using uh, their product, or at least be able to get in touch with them and get support from them, which is huge in the WordPress space. Uh, so now that we've covered that, let's go ahead and dive in to the more details, the more nitty gritty of using the plugin. Okay, so here we are inside my WordPress admin dashboard, gonna create a new form. And how I'm gonna demonstrate this is, if I were somebody that were just quickly installing this and I just wanna get a form on my website, how uh, easy or difficult is that process. So let's dive in. And as you can see, I'm getting presented by a quick tour uh, video. Thumbs up to that. It's always refreshing to have some helper tutorial stuff, uh, you know, whatever it might be. Uh, and Captain Form does sure throw a lot of help at us, which is great. So you get this quick little tour pop up. Uh, here's the dashboard that I'm presented with, where it shows all my forms. I only have one created. And again, uh, I want to emphasize that there's always some way to get in touch with them uh, or, or to get support, which is uh, a tremendous effort from them and a good look on them because support is uh, is huge in the WordPress space. So again, I was presented with that pop-up. Uh, if I forgot how to create a form or I'm here for the first time, how do I do it? I can watch this video. Even if that doesn't help me, I can quickly press this leave a message button and maybe do some live chat right through the plugin. And then lastly, down below, there's a support button. Uh, if I click that in a knowledge base, I can kind of go to these uh, to their various uh, outlets of support. So let's dive in and create this this new form. So I can click on new form, which is great, big bold button right there, it's beautiful. But this is one feature that I really enjoy um, from Captain Form, and that is these pre-made form sets. And there's even more, right? I'm not gonna cover them all in this video, I talk about them in the written article. Uh, but not only can I just create a form and just have my blank canvas and I can go and put all my fields in that I want, I can do a contact and lead form, which is sort of set up uh, the typical way. It's just a template, it's got name, email, address, phone number, all that fun stuff. I can set up a survey, event registration, order form, quiz, poll, blank form, uh, or other form. Let's click on other form just so, you can, just so I can uh, explore that with you. Once you get here, these are actually the same options, but uh, Look at all the sort of pre-made, ready-made uh, forms, templates that, uh, or form templates <laughs> that they have ready to go. Uh, you know, file upload form, career interest survey, classroom observation form, complaint form, loan application form. Like th this is really taking the thinking out of sort of that blank canvas that we're all presented with, right? Um, as developers, uh, creating plugins, we're like, yes, we can make a plugin and you can do anything with it. It's awesome. Um, but usually that's the actual problem is we're just giving you this blank canvas and say, do anything you want with it. Uh, whereas Captain Form is really saying, hey, look, you can do anything you want with it. But by the way, we've got about 50 recommendations of uh, form templates that you can that you can just load up and go. So if you are somebody who's doing loans, right, uh, car sales, home loans, uh, any kind of loan banking, um, boat loans, whatever it might be. Uh, this is a great head start for you, which is a, is a, it's a great thing. So uh, let's just go with blank form real quick. 
as I as I talked about how much uh, templates were great, I'm going to go ahead and qu quickly create a uh, basic one on our own. So here's the presentation. Hey, look, it's not super advanced, but it's clean. It's effective. It works, uh, and I'm happy with it. So all I need to do is add in a text text box. I just click it, and I'm presented with my traditional text box. I can uh, click to edit. I can drag and move it around. So let's just quickly do something like click on that and then type in name. Very basic. That's all I'm going to do here. Um, and I'm going to drop it in email uh, field. And again, name, email. And then I'm going to say, give me a text area for my comment so or question. So I'll say question or comment. And that's it. So these are your, your, your basic sort of fields that most people are looking for on a contact form. Name, email, what's your question or your comment? Send that to us, right? So uh, I can play around with this. I can you know change the order of it. I can duplicate it. That's all awesome stuff, right? So it works just like any other traditional sort of uh, WYSIWYG contact form builder that you would uh, expect, right? I can change the submit form button to uh, send me your info. Just like that, uh, it adds the text there. So again, all pretty much standard stuff. So as we move on to uh, the second part of the step, so I really like how that's just one, two, three. Uh, so that's really effective, right? So uh, there's less thinking again from there. So now I know I can go on to steps one, two, and three. Uh, I guess sort of think where things get more advanced, but I still feel like they did a great job of it, is uh, step two has all the settings. So you're really in step two. It might not just be as easy as one, two, three, because you might have to go through and do all this stuff. Uh, I'm not going to go through each one uh, in the video, uh, but I will just t point out some of the awesome things I think they're doing. So if I go to uh, integrations, I can see all these integrations that I that I can integrate with, right? As, as integrations uh, reflect, so I can do stuff like Salesforce, Aweber, Google Drive, Evernote, Mailchimp, sort of all the staple stuff that we all integrate with. And I think they're doing a great job, and I'm sure they're adding on more as time goes on. But you get your quick little integrations here. You just add that to that form. You can add in multiple integrations per form. I think this is great. I think it adds uh, a nice, easy layer to just quickly connect to these things and. Uh, what you'll find out when you read my more in-depth review on the website is I really think that this product is aimed towards uh, the marketer, business person, uh, somebody who doesn't want to have to think of the WordPress technicals. Now, if you are somebody who's more of a WordPress purist like I am, there are some pitfalls to that, uh, and we'll talk about that sort of as we go on. So if I wanted to add an add-on here, I could just do it right in this screen. One thing that I think is really cool, which unfortunately I didn't get enough time to sort of play with, um, but these dynamic rules that you can create, um, you know, for these different steps. So if people are like field rules, autoresponder rules, and form rules, so I can create uh, different little actions that trigger um, per field. So if somebody's name was Matt, for instance, and they started filling out the form, I could actually have a message prompt up and say, hey, Matt, uh, we don't serve Matt's here. <laughs> we won't support uh, Matt's through this form. Um, little things like that that you can sort of identify. Uh, same thing, a uh, perfect example would be if uh, you're somebody like me and you actually sell WordPress products and you have a contact form on your website and you say, this contact form is not for support, it's only for sales. And I could actually have this form look for the word support in the text box. So if somebody says, I'm looking for support, I could actually trigger that and say, hey, I see you mentioned support in your in your comment. We don't support you through this form. Please see you know this link instead. So I think that's really powerful. Uh, and I, so I, you know I really think that the way that they've handled thirty part third party apps and connecting that throughout the form and rules pretty powerful. Um, and as we go to publish, much like uh, you would expect to. Uh, pu publish any other form uh, from any other vendor uh, or many other uh, pieces of WordPress content that use plugins like this. Um, you're presented with a short code, uh, a PHP function call, which is really great for developers who want to sort of put it right in a template file or something like that. Uh, it will actually publish a widget that you can um, you know, use in your widgets, works with Conductor as well. Uh, or one of the major things that, or one of the minor major things that I think is very small detail, but I really like it, is you can actually publish it as a light box, um, which I think is great. You can put a little short code inside your content, and that way you don't have to embed a contact form inside of content to sort of, you know, break things up, which you might want to do, but 
I find that a lot of marketers and authors and publishers, they want to trigger a, a, a pop-up contact form for various things. So signing up to a newsletter, purchasing a product, um, you, know, you know, capturing a survey. Uh, these things that sort of get in the way if you were to drop a form inside of content, you can easily do that with a light box um, with cap and forms. I think that's a great thing. It's very minor, uh, but to me, it's a, it's a minor major. It's a little minor detail, but it's a, it's a major accomplishment. Uh, and I really like that. So let us go ahead and drop this uh, on our page. And, and really, I'm not showing you anything sort of earth shattering here. I'm just going to copy um, our short code. I'm going to go over to uh, the pages. I'm going to go to the edit the home page. I have some examples in here from when I was uh, reviewing it. Uh, and very easily, I th actually think I copied the light box text. So let's just take a look at what that does. I'm going to go ahead and let's just go ahead. That's the home page. So I'm just going to go ahead and look at that. Uh, so th this is the example from one bef that I created before. This is what it looks like. Um, this is uh, the, a Lightbox pop-up that I was testing out before. Uh, this is the one I just embedded from that demo. So this is the form, question or comment, send me your info. That's how it pops up. You know, pretty, pretty cool, pretty easy. Um, here's the difference. And this is where things, I go into a little bit more detail uh, in the post, but this is where things sort of um, start to make uh, a little bit of difference when you are a WordPress purist, right? We're a WordPress developer. You can, you can tell that I've embedded the form uh, on the site and the styling looks okay, uh, but you can tell that it's sort of tailored to what Captain Form wants. Um, if you look down here in our baton theme, this is the styling of uh, Jetpack forms, contact forms. So it's inheriting the style of our baton theme. If you don't know what that means, our theme actually has styling for forms, right? You might use a form or an existing contact form now that's inheriting the styles that your WordPress theme dictates. Yep, you know, not bad. If you know, if you don't, if regardless of whether or not you care about that, um, is not the point here. What the point is is that contact uh, Captain Forms is actually using an iframe to embed this form, which means that the form is really existing out on the cloud on their servers. Some of you might not care about that, but if you're a WordPress developer, that might be a concern to you. Uh, might be a bottleneck in network performance, page speed um, uh, performance, that kind of thing. If you're trying to style and match what your client wants uh, for the look and feel of a contact form, it could be challenging, right? There's all these sort of little weak links that go along with that. It also means that contact form submissions are actually saved on Captain Form servers. Um, so it's not native to your WordPress database. It's not uh, within your WordPress database. Again, I think there's going to be a camp that cares about stuff like that and a camp that doesn't. Uh, and you just need to find out which one. Overall, I think that the usability of Captain Form is great. Uh, I think that the interface is good, right? It's not super advanced. It's not really earth shattering, but who cares? I mean, you just want to make some forms. You want to get your contacts to uh, submit those forms and that's it. Uh, I think as things maybe get more complex or you start doing some more challenging thing with rules and add-ons, uh, it could use a little bit of improvement. Otherwise, it worked fine for me. Uh, it's a contact form, so there's not a huge performance hit. But again, <laughs> there's always that question of, boy, this is embedded on my site. This is really living on the cloud. Uh, and I really think that Captain Form wants to be more of a SaaS business than a WordPress plugin business. And I discuss that more in the full uh, full on written review. Check that out at mattreport.com. This has been a review of Captain Form. Look, I think that it is a great solution for people who don't want to be WordPress purists. <laughs> okay, if that makes sense to you. Check out Captain Form. There is a free version, so go ahead and check that out. Play around with it. See if you like it. See if you don't like it. Um, it's totally up to you. Starting price at $35 a year, and I do sh share some other details on that uh, within the post. Thanks, everybody.